have you looking to write cold emails and send cold emails automatically without ever, ever, I repeat, ever single needing to write a single cold email again or any email at all? Um, this is a video for you. We're going to go ahead and dive into it right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my camera and let's go ahead and dive into the screen. Hopefully and you enjoy it and just go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Send cold emails without ever writing a single cold email. Then this is a video for you because in this video, I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI to go ahead and write your emails automatically. How's this going to work? Literally, create your contact list. The moment you create your contact list, instantly what's going to happen is as you're uploading the list into your cold email tool, you get, you're uploading the list with a personalized cold email written to that specific uh, 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 prospect, to that specific lead. So let's go ahead and dive into the video, okay? So first and first, let's go ahead and dive into it. So you want to go ahead and send cold emails without ever writing a cold email. Uh, obviously, Mr. Trump, I'm going to show you how to send cold emails without ever writing a cold email. Single email. To get started, you will need, what you will need is one, you need Zapier, and then you need your OpenAI API key instantly, and then you either need Google Sheets, wherever you, you know, you upload your list, if you use spreadsheets, uh, more than this that you do, right? you're going to have to, you're going to need that, okay? So let's go ahead and get started into it, right? So to get started, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go into my Zapier account. So this is Zapier. So my trigger, because the way Zapier works is Zapier needs a trigger. So my trigger right now is um, seamless.ai, okay? So the way it works is basically, yeah, whenever a new contact is created, you add it to a list, and when you add it to that list, um, that trigger sends a, the data of that customer or that lead to OpenAI. And then when it gets to OpenAI, if the OpenAI will write the email, and then once it writes the email, OpenAI will spit that out. And when it spits that out, it will go ahead and um, um, you know upload the contact into instantly. Instantly is a cold email to that I use. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate. What it looks like to you so as you notice i'm going to dive into one of my campaigns okay so pay attention to this this is the campaign right here okay and if you notice i have no leads okay so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go into my seamless.ai and what i will do is i will let's go ahead now and add a new contact all i do is it's all set up there's also uh, another back end i can show you guys how i do it by use uh, the api key pull the data automatically into um, my in, from from the list I'm able to pull actually that has no email let's find this one uh, I'm able to pull the data automatically um, using my API key so when you connect to um, Zapier it's going to ask you for your seamless.ai API key if you're using Apollo it's going to ask for Apollo key or if you're using Google Sheets just upload on Google Sheets okay so this person here has an email. Uh, we're able to find an email. What we're going to do now is um, dive back into it instantly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. Okay, you notice right here, her, her contact has been posted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with sequences. And under sequences, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write uh, I don't just, and what I need in sequences right now is I need two things. I need a headline and I need a body, right? So what I'm going to do is right here, I'm just going to come up here and um, first thing first, because I don't have any data, have any data here, let's go into leads and let's, and let's click on our contact and let's see, we have, uh, pay attention to this web, attention to this web, chat underscore GPT and then chat underscore GPT underscore uh, HL. Okay, so come here, so come here. And then I'm gonna do uh, credit braces. Chat underscore GPT. Now, and then close curly braces. Chat underscore GPT. This. Okay. So this is the email. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on preview email. And if you notice, I'm previewing the email and it says right here, it's like, Dear Candace, I'm a manual growth specialist and I'm confident in my implementation of a database for specialist. 
LTC Heroes, which is the company, uh, can easily reactivate the old database of in applications. Our specialists can call. Now, pay attention to this. All I wrote was chat underscore GPT underscore HL and then chat underscore GPT. You're probably saying, okay, Manuel, how did it, how did you get the email? Pay attention. So in here, when, when we uploaded the list, I'm going to show you how we, I did this. When I uploaded the list, I, I, I sent the list with Zapier through to OpenAI. So OpenAI went over there and OpenAI, OpenAI wrote the email for me and then OpenAI stored that uh, subject line and email with the contact. So when everything got sent over to instantly, it was sent over with a pre-written email. Okay. So, um, and, and just to show you, and just to show you, chat underscore GBT underscore HL and chat underscore GBT. Okay. And we'll go ahead and create the email and we're going to go ahead and send a test email to myself. Send a test email. Perfect. I'm back. Okay. So now this is the email. It says, Dear Candace, I'm a manual growth specialist and I'm confident that by implementing a patient database recognition specialist, LTC heroes can easily reactivate the old database of inactive patients. Our specialists can call on the list of inactive patients and book them as an appointment on one of LTC heroes' patients' active calendar. If a patient reactivation specialist does not perform and help LTC heroes book qualified appointments on the calendar, on the calendar from LTC heroes' da patient database, you don't pay. Instead, interested in learning more? Right, uh, best Emmanuel. Right, so this is just a pre reading email that is stored with a contact. Okay, so how do we create this? Okay, so first thing first is um, we go ahead right now and we come up here to create zap. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go ahead and create zap. And when you go to go ahead and create zap, you are going to find a trigger. So, if you, are you seeing this at AI? You could come up here and use Apollo. Could be anything, right? You could use a follow if you've seen this, whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and this. If you're using Google Sheets, you can use Google Sheets and then um, upload the data into the Google Sheets. Like, uh, let me let me just show you guys using Google Sheets. Maybe that might probably. That might help. All right, so I'm in my Google Sheets and I'm gonna create a blank sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say first name. Email. Title. And what else? Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Email. And all right, so results. And then let's let's kind of do let's use somebody else's name. Let's use uh, Jackie. Company is Jackie Mark and public. And this is gonna be test for let's go ahead and exit on that. I'm sure save it. So we're gonna come up here and rather than use a seamless one, we're gonna come here and check All right, and we're gonna say whenever a new spreadsheet row is created, um, so we can do new or modified, we just do new spreadsheet row. Continue, continue. Spreadsheet is test for OpenAI. Worksheet is sheet one, and then and then test trigger. Perfect. It pulled out the data. Okay, continue. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for AI. 
Now, when you search for OpenAI, it's going to ask you to connect it. So when you connect it, you need your API key, right? You need your API key. The question here now is where do you find your API key? That's what I want to go ahead and cover. So what you want to do is you want to go to, I believe it is, I have one of Okay, you want to go to platform. I'm going to write it down here. Platform. Dot openai.com. Okay, I do apologize if my handwriting is very awesome, and gorgeous. But um, you want to go over there, and when you log on, when you go over to OpenAI, it's going to look like it's going to look like this. Just click on this. Click on your personal. I know. Uh, click on personal right there, and click on view. Uh, click on view API keys. When you click on view API keys, it's going to come up here. So you need to create a key. So click create a key. Just remember, it's only going to generate that key once. So once you create that secret key copy the key, post it in notes, whatever it is that you're going to do, but create the key once, right? So you open that key, copy your key, and then come back in here to your Zapier account and um, um, add that in there. So what you're going to do is choose events, and then you're going to click send prompt. Okay? You can, most people would either do API requests, but just click send prompt, okay? So we're going to do, um, and then click continue. And then we're going to say, um, Write me, write me personalized email, personalized email involved regarding um, getting an appointment, etc. Let's see. much all you can add anything else you want to whatever is in your special and then click on continue and then um test action right oh let, just to make it a little bit better write me a personalized email uh, write me a write a short um, i like to put it like words um 150 word because you have to limit chat GPT because if you don't limit chat GPT, it's going to go crazy. Um, and then the sender is Asukana. I don't know how you spell that. Making this up, you've got to see if they be testing, but, uh, <laughs> testing companies. Somebody's gonna take this little bit over and, you know, get over it. Oh my god, you said this! Okay, so we're gonna continue and then we're gonna test action. Okay. And the main thing we're looking for is we're looking for the data to be, to, to, for, um, okay, so. All right, so here's the subject. It says, subject, appointment setup for Verizon results. Gary Manu, I am Matthew, C of testing ABC. I understand that you're looking for. So it's written the company, and then at the end of it all, it's gonna be Matthew, C of testing company ABC. But you notice it wrote a subject. We don't need a subject. So what we do is we come back. Remember, you need to tell ChatGPT what to do. Uh, uh, Come back and we test action. So the main thing is, so it's going to write the main body of email. You can you can save it, whatever, however you want to save it. Okay. So hello, Emmanuel. I hope it's fine. So it's written the email now, right? So we just put it in, and um, but we're not done yet. So we're going to click on add again. And we need to we need to write the so uh, open AI send prompt continue. Continue and then I write me a headline, a attention. Uh, based on email body. And then just come back here and let's go in here to this. And continue. Test action. Okay. 
and then here's what it's going to tell us the it's been now grow your agency and increase your revenue okay it's too long so remember we have to limit chat gpt right write me a four word right it, you have to make it you have to make sure that chat gpt understands you know not to go crazy I do apologize if my uh, video is a little bit, uh, okay, so it says here, boost revenue with ABC. All right, and then come up here, and then we just go ahead and connect out into the free account. And what I'll do is, is if the video is a little weird, I'll just remove it from um, uh, this, and then add lead to campaign. And then continue, continue. And then choose campaign. We have a bunch of campaigns running. I'll just go ahead and choose this campaign. Um, and then what we're doing is email address, is email from here, and the first name. It's the first name here. And then uh, I didn't put a last name, so I don't. We don't have to worry about that. Company name. Company. You can you put personalization. I don't really do that. I'm just come up here, chat uh, underscore. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need the first thing first the uh, 150 word person's email right here. Um, and then I like to just say, we just write custom variables. Uh, Store the data chart underscore the gel, and then we're going to use result of step three. Choice of steps, all right, and then click continue, press action, and boom, it says success. So we're just yeah, let's go ahead and refresh that. Uh, boom, there you go. My email has been updated. And if you notice, it has chat underscore HL. We've got a headline and we've got our main body. So just come up here to sequences. And, and right here. And then just go put that chat. And then we have saving chat for you to name it whatever you want to name it. And don't worry about it saying no match found. And then create the email. There you go. It says, hey, Manuel, um, I hope this message finds you well. My name is Matthew and I'm the CEO of testing company ABC. Uh, we specialize in helping businesses grow your customer base and increase revenue. I wanted to reach out to you and discuss the possibility of us working together. Uh, we have an excellent outperforming sensor that is blah, 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 blah. You get the whole point. And then you just go ahead and send the email. That's pretty much it. But that is how you can have a, a, a cold email written for you just by you creating and adding a contact on a spreadsheet and OpenAI does everything for you. But that's pretty much it. Just